Hello, I'm Cindy with Wisconsin Voices for Recovery, and this is Speak Out on Stigma. Today, we'll be hearing from Jason, a certified peer specialist. Hi, hey, Jason, how are you today? Pretty good. Good, good. Tell me about some of the damaging physical impacts you've experienced as a result of stigma, like relationships, finances, work, housing, medical care, and or health. Uh, stigma almost allow me, like, I, mean, I was in prison, like, in 2011, I went to prison, and because you can't go to um, work camp, um, I kind of hid my diagnosis and my my, my mental illness because I wanted to work, go to work camp and make some money. And it was like, you couldn't go to work camp unless you, you without, you couldn't go to work camp if you take psycho, psychotropic drug, drugs, basically. So I kind of got off uh, my medication and stopped taking my medication before I go to work camp. And, but I went to work camp and eventually uh, got kicked out of work camp, but I never got back on my meds and I ended up catching a case. Um, once I was released in 2014 and I found not guilty due to insanity. So uh, the not allowing me to go to work camp allowed me to like hide my diagnosis to get the work camp. In the end, I got the work camp and saved some money and I didn't get a chance to spend it. And cause seven days later I called, uh, I called the most, you know, it's, it's like, I'm still like, still got remorse and, and like, I really can't even get over the fact that what I did in 2014, but everything transpired because um, I wanted to go to work camp to make some money when I come home. So that was one instance that, you know, stigma, how stigma played a very important role in me because I was gone in 2014 and I died seven days later, I was gone. And I just came home in 2024 from that situation so it, it took like 10 years of my life because I was hiding my diagnosis and not accepting my diagnosis for what they was because of stigma and stigma caused me not to accept my diagnosis so when you I feel like when I didn't accept it I didn't know how to manage my diagnosis yeah that's a really a really good point um so stigma can have a negative impact on self-acceptance which can lead to decisions to try and avoid that stigma, which can cause more barriers and, and challenges and, and, and harm to oneself. Yeah, definitely so. Yeah. In what ways have you been treated differently due to stigma? Um, well, I was in institutions because I got a, uh, I got a mood disorder, bipolar. It was like, every time I look around, people was policing my emotions, seeing was I mad, seeing was I angry. And I just felt like I couldn't actually fully be me or even share my emotions with people because it's like, you know, my, po my they police in my my emotions. If I feel mad, you know, I'm 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 on my verge of having a manic episode. If I still feel sad, I'm on the verge of having depression. It's like you can't be a normal individual when you when you diagnosed with a mood disorder, and you know, it, it, it's just difficult. That's what it sounds like made it difficult to be able to be your authentic self. Yes, especially, you know, I, I did what four years in Mendota. And it was like trying to navigate Mendota. It was literally like, you know, I had to hold in most of my emotions to I would met one therapist and she was able to allow me to just be be my be myself in, in the therapy sessions and without you know, even though she saw anger, she didn't panic or hit the red button or, you know, and, and most of the time when you're in institutions, like you could be punished for your emotions. And it's just like, it's, it's, it's very difficult when you got a mood disorder because they watching your emotions, your mood, you know, your mood is studied like on a microscope. Uh, I definitely hear you. Is there anything else you'd like to add? And I, I, it's just, I don't know if stigma is, is really allow a person to not accept what they're going through, you know, or, or be open and honest, you know, and, and it, you know, and, and stigma is one of the reasons why I did what I did in 2014. You know, I hold myself accountable, but stigma played a, an important role in it. That's why, you know, I, I, I would spend the rest of my life trying to fight against stigma and 
educate people on stigma and the impact you have on the community. Yeah, absolutely. And what you had said about it, preventing person to be open and honest like with themselves that's super important for you know pursuing recovery treatment and healing to be able to to get honest with yourself and you know bringing that up that that stigma can have that impact on that layer you know of, of self self-honesty self-openness is is really important to to realize that it impacts on that level too which can have detrimental effects yeah definitely so well, thank you so much, Jason, for sharing your views on stigma. And thank you to our viewers for watching. Speak Out on Stigma is a forum to raise awareness about the harmful impact of stigma on those in and seeking recovery. Recovery is for everyone. Together, we can eliminate stigma. Don't forget to like, comment, and share this video. Thank you, and have a good day.